Hello, I'm Astrid Schmulian and with me today is Steven Kutsia. We are both lecturers on an introductory course to IFRS and this is an IFRS for Rookies presentation. The purpose of this presentation is to provide a brief overview of IS8, accounting policies, changes in accounting estimates and errors. The accounting process is triggered by an economic event. The events considered by IS8 are changes in accounting policies and estimates and prior period errors. As with many international financial reporting standards, IS8 is also based on underlying concepts as contained in the ISB framework. In particular, IS8 is focused on faithfully representing the various events and ensuring comparability across time and with other reporting entities. In line with the concepts, IS8 requires retrospective application and restatement of a change in policy or correction of prior period error. In selecting an accounting policy, IS8 provides a hierarchy of sources to consider. Once a policy is selected, it is important to apply this policy consistently. The policy can only be changed in very limited instances. In particular, the concepts of relevance and reliability, or faithful representation, must be considered when a policy change is sought. A change in policy should not be confused with the adoption of a new policy as a result of change in circumstances or change in use. As previously mentioned, a change in accounting policy must be applied retrospectively as far as practicably possible to ensure comparability and faithful representation over time. Accounting estimates are an integral part of the accounting process. The nature of such estimates is that they can change. This change is not regarded as the correction of a prior period error. Accounting estimates are adjusted in the current period and future period. Comparative information is not restated. Errors are usually corrected before the financial statements are authorized for issue. It could however happen that an error that occurred in one or more prior periods is only detected during the current financial year. If the error occurred in the comparative period, this period is retrospectively restated. If however the error occurred in a period prior to those presented, the opening balance of the earliest prior period presented is corrected, if practicable. A change in accounting policy, as well as a correction of a prior period error, is disclosed in the notes. The effect on each adjusted line item is disclosed, as well as the effect on earnings per share and diluted earnings per share. IS1 requires that where retrospective application or restatement occurred, a third column should be included in the Statement of Financial Position, this column being the opening balance of the earliest prior period presented. We hope you enjoyed this IFRS for Rookies presentation and look forward to engaging with you on Facebook. Thank you.